close then. Right then, so, a lot of you people, I wasn't going to make this video, but a lot of people have asked me how to fit this air filter that I got the other day. Now, I did link Rusty Fat's video, but it is a little bit different. So, I've got a free day, I'm just going to go over it, um, show you how to install it, then I'll throw in a few clips at the end, some, some new clips of uh, how it all sounds. So yeah, hope you, um, hope you find this video quite easy to follow. I'm learning as I go, because I had a, I had a bit of help from the people at the car meet when I fit it. Um, so yeah. Let's get it done together and uh, we'll see how it goes. So yeah, enjoy the video. Nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. I like that. Fucking trees. Right, so I've just put everything back to normal. And this is what it should look like. The only thing different is you won't have these cut and you'll have two little um, zip ties or cable ties, whatever you want to call them, holding this hose in place. Just cut them, don't worry about it, just cut them. Uh, I'm actually thinking about getting some red um, pipe for these, make it look a bit different. But yeah, just cut them. And uh, all you want to do after that is get your T20 bit, if you don't know what one of them looks like. Just like that, T20. And there's four screws. One, two, three, and four down there. All you want to do is just take them off. Don't lose these or don't throw them away because I'm pretty sure to pass MOT you need to put your original um, panel filter back on. So just keep that in mind. Do not throw these away or anything like that. Right, now once you've got them off, it's literally just a matter of popping this out of place. And what I do is I'll push down on this side, because if you can see here, there's clips in there. So you want to push down on this side to undo them clips. So you push down and pull up at the same time. Undo your hose. And that's it and obviously take your panel filter out you don't want that anymore but don't throw it away and that's it that's how you take it off now what I do is I'm gonna leave my um, my bottom box in the bottom of the box in so hopefully well I know it does but I'm just telling you guys your cone will sit in this box so you still got your cold air feed coming up straight into the cone so it don't affect much it just pretty much Gives the engine more airflow, uh, makes it sound better, which is um, the main point of this video. And uh, actually, it gives better throttle response. So, yeah, it's definitely worth doing. But anyway. All right, so onto the cone filter. This is what you'll get. Link in description if you want to buy it. It's just from Halfords. You walk in and say, can I get a red cone filter? And this is what they'll give you. Um, it's rip speed, so it's not, not crap brand. Um, but, yeah, anyway. Then you want these two... Um, these two, what would you call these? Adapters kind of thing. And I'll show you now how to put it on. This is the trickiest part, but we're literally nearly done, so. And like I said, this bit is the hardest part. Just trying to get this clamp on here is normally quite difficult. You've just gotta, just gotta use force, really. Use the force, Luke. And then as you can see, once you kind of get one side on, the rest of it goes on quite easy. Then you get the next bit and pop that on there. Same again, just be a bit forceful. Don't be afraid to break out. Uh, once that's on, grab your cone filter. 
and slide it in there. And that's literally it. Now all you want to do is tighten your uh, your clamp. And now once that's done, what I do with this is, I don't know if you can see there, I've put two little, um, two little sticky pads, one there and one down there. All I do is literally push your comb filter into place and that's quite literally it boys. I'll start the engine up now, show you the, uh, show you what it sounds like. Now, Halford does claim that um, it's universal fit and it should fit anything. So, if you buy it and it doesn't fit your car, that ain't on me, I'm afraid to say. Um, Halford's claim it's universal, as I said, so it should fit your car. And just for those of you wondering that are a bit cautious when doing this, no engine warning lights, nothing like that. I've drove from, um, from Nottingham back up to Warrington the other day and there's been no issues whatsoever. It just sounds a lot better. And that's quite literally it, so yeah. And yeah boys, that's quite literally all you have to do to fit a comb filter on a Corsa D. Um, I know it's just a short video again, but I had so many people ask me how to do this and um, I know the video I linked in the comments of that video was, um, was quite short, so I thought, you know what, I'll quickly make this video and uh, hope it helps you guys, so yeah. Thank you for 700 subscribers, we're on like 750 now, it's going mad recently. Um, I can't believe the support you guys are showing, it is literally insane to me. 1k subscribers is on the way and we're going to be doing a sick giveaway for that so stay tuned please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace